Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to share my thoughts on OS X Yosemite versus Windows 8.1 and my experience with my new Regna MacBook Pro. In this March 2015 I brought a new Regna MacBook Pro. Actually this is a 2014, mid 2014 model after that there is no Regna MacBook Pro release from Apple. So I brought this model. Uh, this model came with a 16 GB of internal memory, 512 GB hard disk and a GT750 M2 GB graphics card. Uh, uh, this is my first OS X device. This is my first OS X experience. I am started using OS X, uh, OS X Yosemite. Uh, this company installed OS X Yosemite and some other applications like iMovie, Pages, Number, Keynote, etc. But I uh, reinstalled OS X and I lost all those applications but I can still go to uh, Mac App Store and uh, re-download those applications but I am not going to use those applications for now maybe later I will try and in this video I am going to share a quick feedback or quick uh, comparison between Windows 8 user over a decade I am a Windows user and this is my first Mac experience so don't blame me I don't know what is inside OS X and this is a very initial impression uh, don't uh, get me wrong okay and uh, the what I like about this machine is this is a very lightweight machine and very powerful machine and it generates a lot of heat that I don't like and uh, the trackpad the trackpad is very good and the three finger swipe gesture is super good I think there is no uh, parallel experience on a windows machine any windows machine uh, this is the very first or the very uh, much like feature on um, on this MacBook Pro because I don't know I very much like this feature and three finger swipe up will bring multiple desktop you can add different desktop I have a tell uh, WHD monitor here I can connect it and I can have multiple desktop on that monitor too so in multi uh, window mode or multi desktop environment OS X is superior to Windows 8.1. In Windows 8, you can uh, switch tabs by Alt tab. The same will work for Mac, and but I like uh, to use three finger swipe, that is good for me. I think in Windows 8, you can when you click right click, when you right click on desktop, you can create a new file, you can change screen resolution. You can change the looks of windows uh, by going personalize just a second yeah here you can uh, change the looks the way you like and you can customize a lot of things color options uh, etc if you are a windows user you know what I say what I'm saying but in OS X uh, I didn't find that option so you can change desktop background uh, to what all you like yeah here yeah. that's it uh, that is nothing more than that when you right click on desktop uh, you can uh, clean up you can uh, sort icons by different you can create a new folder but you cannot create a new file in windows 8.1 you can create a new shortcut uh, create a new text document etc you can refresh you can undo delete etc but uh, that is not the case in OS X in OS X you cannot create a new file using a right click mm, and when right click on a file you can edit open uh, or open with and you can copy cut create shortcut etc on windows but in OS X you cannot do that uh, in OS X finder is the file explorer Windows Explorer equivalent application and you cannot cut an application you can see you can copy a file but you cannot cut uh, a file you can do that in uh, edit uh, by using shortcut uh, command x command c the universal shortcut for cut copy paste this will work on mac but uh, there is no option while right clicking and the way of installing applications is this is the application folder if you need to install an application most of the application you have to drag and drop to application folder and you have to give administrator password for making merger changes on operating system that will improve the security 
in windows 8.1 you have to click yes there is no administrator password i think mm. and in windows 8.1 you can see that the my computer my computer means this pc the file explorer will bring different drives uh, movies uh, folders etc network drives etc uh, in os x you can see that this is the my computer or the finder in this is the uh, shared or the disk or when you connect a usb when you connect a usb drive it will come to desktop and create an icon here you can access from uh, there and uh, this is uh, the upper icon will come uh, on every application menu where even if you when when you open and safari the application menu will come here uh, not with the application but that is not the case in windows in windows we even windows we open internet explorer it have a separate menu uh, file uh, file menu okay but there is nothing like that in OS X uh, I don't find much problems on that uh, that's okay but uh, right clicking to create a new file or cut copy that was major issue for me so I found some uh, stuffs to make it work I installed extra finder in extra finder I can uh, create new files on desktop uh, as you can see this is my documents and I can right click and create new folder and in new folder I can sorry my finder is not run my extra finder is not running now yeah there is no finder icon there I can I have to go applications Hmm. Where is my extra finder? Yeah, here is my extra finder. Yeah, extra finder is on. Now I can right click and create a new HTML file, text document, etc. See, I can create a new text file. Yeah, this is how I overcome that uh, feature. Sorry, that. Equivalent feature on Windows 8 on OS X. Uh, in an uh, extra finder, you can do some other tasks like uh, you can uh, make colorful icons here. Uh, by default, in Finder, I think there is no colorful icons. That is not a big deal, but still, okay. Uh, also, when using Finder, I can cut a file. See that extra finder? You can you have a cut option here. Uh, in OS X, by default, there is no cut option. I show you early and that's it um, yeah Safari Safari is a nice web, very good web browser there is no you don't have to find Google Chrome or some other Google Chrome I'm, I'm going to install Google Chrome uh, for development purpose but other than that Safari is a very good web browser there are, you don't have to find an alternate uh, web browser if you are a basic, basic user but uh, I don't know how Windows sorry the next four will compete against that okay and uh, yeah the some of some uh, thing some other things yeah, uh, in Windows it is better because you can actually control the volume from here but in OS X you cannot control uh, the volume of external device connected to HDMI or display port uh, you have to install another application for that uh, that's free but still you have to install a new application like uh, what is the name soundflower soundflower yeah soundflower is the application for controlling external uh, device uh, external display device volume on your macbook pro otherwise you cannot the external device will work 100 percent only okay anyway that is it for now anyway thanks for watching have a nice day this is vishnu signing out bye bye mm -hmm.